Wow, what a wonderful view. And the sound of Mark IV TDI, of course, is also a very nice addition to that. Good morning, comrades. I hope you are all well and staying safe. And I guess it's a good occasion to talk about Track Tour, my track tool of 2020. And one of the updates is that this actually happened previously. Good morning comrades! Today is going to be a very special video because I will be taking the tractor, the Golf Mark IV TDI, my 2020 project car, for its very first lap of Nürburgring, Nordschleife uh, and the GP track as well of Touristenfahrten. So it can, you can say, earn its license plate. Now important things, since it's going to be the first lap and the car is pretty much stock apart from LSD, different gearbox, uh, lightweight clutch, uh, race clutch and lightweight flywheel and uh, some uh, we're still running winter tires, yes, and we have brand new brakes, but they are stuck, uh, so we have plenty of meat on them, but still stock material. I'm going to take it very easy, so it's going to be a very enjoyable lap, I will be giving some comments along the way, but I'm very much looking forward to it, so let's hop in the car and see how it is to drive the Mark IV TDI, the greatest track tour of them all, maybe at some point the track tool. You can hear lots of shaking and vibration, lots of noise because the car has solid engine mounts but once we start driving everything's fine so let's go to the track. Having grown up playing GTA this is kind of very much inviting. Uh, well maybe not now. <laughs> Ooh, hoo, hoo, the first lap of 2020. So I didn't manage to bring the car up to temperature, so we're gonna take it very easy here. Not that we would have noticed the full hundred. And then, for some reason, that's it. It, it stopped. Probably there was an SD card error or GoPro error or something, and it's it, it really upset me so much because it was the last day of TF, like one and a half months ago, and I was very much looking forward to share the actually first lap of the tractor with you guys. However, the upset uh, upside of like in the current times is that uh, day after tomorrow on Thursday it is going to be well TF is going to be open so you will have a lap well a video of me doing a lap soon enough but still uh, ever since one and a half months later a lot of things have happened and I haven't uh, dedicated much attention to this car uh, so I think it's a good time to to do a recap and tell you what is going to happen so first of all we have installed new pro track wheels together with tires and I actually kind of liked about it so here we go Oh, look the i20n and now we are at tire trade center to fit the new wheels pro tracks brakes are still pretty good The front also looks good, but it will be replaced for a big brake kit soon anyway. Yeah, now it desperately needs bigger brakes on the rear. This is just ridiculous. <laughs> and the front as well. Okay, quick lunch pickup at ED. Sausages, yes. Oh, it's very, very, very bad. Very bad, all the bad. Proper truck car. And it's mail time. Quite a big package from our friend Frank. Where are you laughing? Where are you laughing? No, I didn't. What do you think it's in there? Gas and a drink. Gas and a drink. Well, definitely a drink. Oh, a lot of it. And strobe waffles. <laughs> you like strobe waffles? Yeah, but cats and dogs. Ooh, and that's for the kids, I guess. Well, we, we can be we can pretend to be kids. Oh, pindakas. Yum. Yeah, it's pindakas. Yum. Yum. Erte soup. Like a nail on. 
and drop mix. Nice. Okay, quick lunch, and then I'll tell you more about this. Ooh, look at the protract. Yes. Small and you need to lower that bad I know. That's the next thing. Max, what do you think of the new wheels? What? I'm very happy with your honest opinion. So, and after food, we can show you more of the protract wheels. Yeah, first I'm gonna show you the super wheels, because they have been installed as well, with the massive 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 275 on the front and I think the same size this is a square setup or yeah, square, setup, square yep. setup so also 275 on the back as well it looks so much better than it was stock and the latest addition is this front lip you just installed it right the front lip yeah literally about an hour ago cool how's the drive uh, I've just been playing around with some of the settings a little bit so that's yeah, right, at the minute, it's not too bad. Mm -hmm. Once it's had a full geo and everything and it's been set up properly, then yeah. Yeah, it, be, it should be a lot better. Car. It's what? I want this to be our fastest car. You want it to be our fastest car? Yes. Well, your request can be fulfilled there, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea. Uh, not sure if I told you, but the GRZ has been installed. I think I mentioned the GRZ, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I would love to go for a lap, but unfortunately the track is closed. Now, on to today's subject. The Golf. Picked up the Pro Track wheels, the same as we run on pretty much all of our cars. Uh, same model, although this is 17 inch um, because, well, you can install then a bigger sidewall, which is good for the track, also more comf comfortable, which is, yeah, probably looks doesn't that good, but still. We also have a big brake kit, which was installed on the Polo, but we could not fit it yet because I need to have different hubs. So that's gonna come on then with a big brake kit and we'll, we'll look a lot better. GRZ suspension is already finished. It just, well, the plan was to bring the car there and have it installed by them, but yeah, with the current situation, it's not gonna happen. So probably we're gonna have it ship it here and George is gonna install it. <laughs> One more thing, a very important thing that I forgot to mention, probably many of you are going to ask like, so why no Nankang, why no, or anything else? Well, actually, I wanted to have Michelin PS Force on it, uh, but there was some like miscommunication, so they actually didn't have the size in stock when I brought the car. Um, and it would be available next Wednesday, but I didn't want to wait. And they said, well, why don't you take this, uh, Toyos TR1. Like, yeah, whatever, that would work. Fine, it's just gonna be for the street and track anyway. They're actually really good wet tires. Yeah. I had them on the Golf in the wet. The TR1 or T1R? Yeah, TR1, the new okay. one. Yeah, yeah, that's the new one. So, gave them a try. They're not, like, not that great in the dry, uh -huh. from the size I had. But in the wet, they were really good. Yeah. They were really, really good, actually. I was yeah. very surprised. Though. Yeah, that's what they told me as well, like for the street and uh, well, and the track as well, that's going to well, be. You'll see, when you do wet laps, you'll see how good they are. Yeah? Mm. Excited. I love you wet can laps. Keep them really easily. Uh -huh. So that's it in short regarding the wheel and tire upgrade. I'm now extra sad that we have lost the very first lap on winter tires because we could have like a perfect reference lap and we can compare these two. What is going like, uh, how does the car behave? How do the tires behave? But hopefully the car will survive more than one season and we'll have more laps on winter tires and then winter conditions and etc. So there'll be plenty of that. But a recap, I find them looking absolutely awesome. Porntastic, mind-blowing. And now of course, like mentioned, the car really needs to be lowered. GRZ suspension has actually been sent yesterday, so it's gonna arrive here and we're gonna install it. And then, as mentioned, also next step is a big brake kit, which was ordered for the white polo, but as you may know... And if you don't, the white polo of Apex Rental Fleet has been taken out of the rental fleet. By the way, it's my most favorite all-time ever wet lap car, but hopefully the tractor will replace it. Uh, we'll find out maybe tomorrow is going to be raining. But anyhow, for we had uh, a stop kit ordered for the white polo but then the car was taken out because it had uh, so much mileage uh, such a high mileage so, so it was just like a preventive measure and that is going to be put on that uh, on the tractor but we need different hubs so we need to order that that will come then the big brake kit will be installed suspension as mentioned is installed now the next step actually under the hood soon and by soon i mean probably maybe even next week i need to make an appointment because i already have uh, an engine tune a map from darkside development they sent it over to me so i can actually already 
put it on, load it up uh, via um, power gate is the tool called. You've seen it in one of the previous vlogs. I can load it up and like switch maps all the time, like uh, whenever I want. I think there's only like five minutes in between, but I definitely want to dyno it. I want to find out how much horsepower it has now and how much it will gain with the tune. Everything, of course, for the sake of science. So that is going to be next. So first we're going to do lap and stock conditions, and then we will do a remap, then we'll do another lap. We'll have some reference, etc. Dyno videos, they'll do uh, very well. Not going to have a much black smoke but that will and i wanted to say that would come but we're gonna keep it to a minimum because uh well the car still was gonna be doing lots of traveling i don't want to attract too much attention and nowadays you don't need to have like a rolling coal machine because uh it, it has an appeal for some people but i don't really find it uh, anything special or cool so we're gonna avoid that but what i wanted to say is that in case you missed it dark side developments already sent like a crate full of parts turbo intercooler all kinds of things for the engine and the idea was to drive it to the uk have it installed there map it make lots of cool videos then the world things happened and uh, borders got shot and now no idea when it's going to happen. Now many of you are going to say like, why don't you install it yourself? Uh, I have one arm for filming and one arm to do things and I think you need two proper right arms and I only have one. Now, on a serious note, regarding engine tuning and management, I'm not going to be like uh, really messing up with, with things. So I really like to have them do it. Uh, of course, like a plan B, if the border is not going to be open in the next few months, hopefully it's not going to be the case then we can of course uh, see for some local professional and and do it then another thing that has arrived i don't have it on me now it's actually a short shifter from diesel geek so i'm looking forward to install that another shift knob and then final upgrade which i have here with me i would like need to open the car this Verklein. Is it Verklein or Verklein? I don't know like in which language i should pronounce it properly but making fast faster these lower control arms for the front uh, I, you're probably wondering like hey what you want to keep them safe you want to buckle them up yeah i kind of do but on a serious note if i don't do it then this thing is rattling too much yeah with with hard engine mount so i'm like i keeping always uh, hard also as you can see a bit off topic here but we have massive pollen infestation it rained here and like the whole car is covered in and, and like actually the, the whole ground is green but <laughs> going off topic here sorry for that but this is going to gain, give me so much more control. Let me quickly assemble it. Well, this is pretty much it. Of course, there's going to be a better video when I'm going to be assembling it. But uh, what you need to know, tubular, uniballs, fully adjustable. Also here, this part is adjustable, so you can have two settings. And this is going to benefit a lot when we're going to lower the car, because one of the worst things on the... Uh, on the Mark IV chassis is the so-called bump steer. You can resolve it when you install the suspension components like the knuckles and the trailing arms from a TT, but it asks quite some conversion. And I just decided to go an extra mile and Albert from Verklein was like very nice and cooperative. Because and... I was nagging a lot because obviously not many people have products for Mark IV by now anymore. But, but the thing is, this component is pretty similar to what you can find on the Mark VII Golf for some reason. So they went back to the Mark IV platform pretty much. So that's funny. So basically Albert and his team have uh, adjusted this for a Mark IV chassis. I'm the first person in the world who's going to try it out. I'm very much looking forward to try it out. And and see the benefit of it and uh, have lots of fun on the track and off the track with it for the rest what should i say yeah again lots of pollen that's so annoying because before this whole thing started i had the car cleaned and detailed by pete exhaust i still need the exhaust that is going to come but you uh, don't see it anyway so nothing spectacular oh look there's a real tractor ha <laughs> cool okay uh all the bad jokes aside uh yeah there's one thing the seats, yes, the seats are actually already in stock at Atomic and because of all the Corona stuff thingies, we are waiting for the sliders. They still need to arrive and then I will have the bucket seats, the Recaro Sportster CS in case you missed it. Uh, I actually also ordered new shift knob uh, of Alcantara. So excited for that and together with the short, uh, um, short, 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 short shifter. That's the word I was looking for. I think it's going to be a very cool upgrade. Then steering wheel, retrim it, uh, dashboard might do something with it because I saw someone was making a custom 300 kilometers an hour uh, like a clock dashboard for MK4. But yeah, I don't know how much important this 
uh, the sound system. Might uh, do it. I have contacted the workshop already and then, yeah, things happened. Borders got closed and, uh, yeah, we'll see. Different priorities at this point. And what should I say? That's pretty much it. Yeah, uh, this is it and this is food in case you missed it. Uh, my emergency supply. Uh, anyhow, I guess that's pretty much it. Uh, in short, I am very, very, very much looking forward to Thursday to, to do some laps with it in two days and share it with you guys. Uh, let me know something in the comments. I don't know what uh, what you're most excited about, what you would like me to do with the car, what you, you'd like me to see to do with the car, what should I do, what should I not do. And see you next time on the track with this. Have a good rest of the week, good weekend. Stay safe, stay healthy, and uh, looking forward to see you at the Nürburgring. Again, a reminder, in case you missed it, Nürburgring is open again with some limited measures. In case you missed the video, check it up, upper right corner, and see you next time. I hear lots of more tractors are coming. I should definitely leave.